welcome back to our second lesson in Photoshop. In this lesson, we will be talking about selection tools and we will be learning how to select each object. Now, before we get started, I want to mention some additional information with you guys about the, the previous lesson. We were talking about layers. So, if we need to merge two levels how can we do that well all you have to do is to select the first layer and then hold control then select the second layer hold control then press E so control E will merge the two selected levels okay let's do this again with more clear example okay I will draw something over here on this layer okay and I will draw another thing with another color on the second layer so those individual layers has to be merged so how can we do that all we have to do is select the first one Hold Ctrl, select the other one. We'll now press Ctrl E and then both layers become one. Okay, so this is the first one. The second information is how can I merge all layers without selecting any one? Well, in this case, we have to hold Ctrl, hold the Alt key and hold the shift key then press E now all the layers will be merged into one as you can see okay so we can delete this one the last shortcut is to merge all layers into one individual layer hold control then hold the shift then press E. Now all the, the layers will be merged into one layer. So what's the difference between them? Okay, the first one, we are merging the selected layers. Like this one. The second one, we are merging all layers into a new one, as you can see. In our third case, we are merging every single layer into one individual layer, okay? And this way is not really recommended for you guys. So let's kick this off with selection tools. As a start point, selection tools are placed just right below the move tool, as you remember, the move tool which shortcut is V. Well now we will be talking about selection tools. Let's explain this more. Okay, for now guys, Photoshop has three main selection tools. The first one called marquee tool, the second one is the lasso tool, the third one is the magic wand. Well, each tool, as we mentioned, there are there is a small arrow which leads into the other tools inside this main tool. As you can see, the marquee tool icon is just like this shape. It's right over here. Okay. So the marquee tool has literally four tools inside of it well in our case we will be using only the first two tools for the marquee tool okay so the marquee tool if we hit the M key it will choose marquee tool and it will choose in default the first one well, how can we go to the next one? 
well in this case we have to hold the shift then press the shortcut which is M now we press shift then M and it will automatically go to the other one below okay and to back to the first one is just the same way as before like shift hold the shift then press M and it will go back to the first tool which is the rectangular one well how about these two tools over here well these tools has literally no shortcut so let's forget about them okay anyway we will be not using them well the second tool is the lasso tool the lasso tool contains three main tools inside of it well the shortcut of it is L whenever we press L it chooses the first one automatically how to move to the other one hold the shift and the press the shortcut L and it will move just right there okay so if we reach the last one and press shift and L it will go to the first one directly so this is how Photoshop works whenever you need to move through the tools you just need to hold the shift then press the shortcut of the main tool now let's talk about the third one which is the magic wand the magic wand shortcut is W whenever we press W we notice that it chooses the first one as well how can we get down, get down there just like the others hold the shift then press the W key and it will go through all these tools directly now mainly this is the basic things about selection tools now let's talk about each one of them well before we do that just bear in mind that all the selection tools has general properties and each one of them has its own properties so let's get started with the general properties for each one of them now let's open up some picture over here and take this move drag it over there let's unlock the layer Control zero to zoom on okay <clears throat> I will be working for example for now using I will use the marquee tool okay to explain the selection things now I will press M so the marquee tool now I will be talking about general properties let me for example drag over here now this area is selected as shown if I ever selected a new area it will remove the first one and select a new one and like so for example how can I add selection like for example I want to select this area and this one at the same time how can I do that well select the first area then hold shift select the other one so add in selection we add selection using the shift key hold shift you can see that there is a small plus you see we can select this area for example and it will add the selection into the previous ones right over there and adding selection is infinite as you can see so to add selection hold the shift and add now we need to subtract from selection how can we do that well hold the alt key and you will notice that 
the plus becomes minus hold the alt key and select the area that you need to subtract from selection and it will be subtracted as shown alt select alt and select alt and select now how can we intersect these two selections over here well all you need to do is let's do this one more time adding selection I need to intersect these two selections through this area in the middle okay now hold the shift and hold the alt and select this area and Photoshop will intersect these two selections this way okay now when I finish my selection I need to deselect these areas how can I deselect well hold the control then press D and it will be gone now I can select just a brand new selection control D deselect okay now for example I'm selecting the moon okay so I need to start the selection just like these two edges like I don't want to start away from the moon okay I need to start just on the edge of it now let's press ctrl D how can I do that I need to try like a million times to get the result I want actually and probably it will not happen for this case all you need to do is to move your selection how can we do that you can start your selection randomly while you are selection while, while you are selecting never let the mouse go okay now all you need to do is to hold the space and move your selection wherever you want I'm still holding the mouse like for example leave the space and continue selecting your move that's how it's done okay so ctrl D I'm going to repeat that information select randomly hold the space and move your selection leave the space whenever you are satisfied then continue your selection just like that okay ctrl D deselect now for example okay now let's continue with the general properties of selection if there is a selection inside this picture okay and I choose the move tool which is V then enter the selection like that as you notice there is a small scissor just right behind that arrow okay what does it do well if you clicked and dragged it will crop the main picture that you have inserted okay and we need not to do that well whenever there is a selection and you are choosing the move tool it's going to damage your picture okay so be careful of that this is the first one the second one is whenever there is a selection and you pressed the control J key which was um, uh, copying layer like in the previous lesson we said that Control J it duplicate the layer okay so whenever there is a selection and you use that shortcut Control J it's going to duplicate the selected area of this image on a new layer okay and let's delete this one well the other case is holding Control and Shift then J 
it will totally subtract this part of this original image into a new layer as you can see so it's not uh, copying the selected area it's a cropping it okay now we don't need to do that so control Z control D another thing whenever there is a selection and we are painting over this picture it will not paint out of the selection it will only paint inside it as you can see so bear in mind that whenever we need to edit some area all you have to do is to select this area then paint it okay in order not to paint out of it so Ctrl Z Ctrl Z Ctrl D to this select this one over here well for now as I'm selecting the moon I choose not to select the moon I want to select or I want to paint outside the moon okay I don't want to paint inside it so how can I do that we need to invert the selection to invert selection control shift I so hold the control hold the shift then press I and it will invert the selection just this way as you can see now control Z control D this select one last thing is whenever there is selection and you think you deselected that area in fact sometimes we hide it not deselect okay so how can how can we do that if you press ctrl h it will hide the selection but it is still there okay so ctrl h to hide the selection ctrl d is to this select that selection and that's it for the general properties of each one of the selection tools okay now let's talk about the properties of each one of these three tools starting with the marquee tool as we mentioned before the marquee tool shortcut is M now we hit the M and it will choose the rectangular one now let's click and the drag we will notice that <coughs> it selected a rectangular area if I want to select a square area how can I do that <coughs> well in that case while you are selection all you need to do is to hold the shift key holding the shift key makes the square selection okay as you can see Control D let's deselect it can I use the shift key and move the selection of course you can now let me draw a new selection hold the shift to make it a square now press or hold the space move it wherever you want like for example there I will leave the space and continue selecting the image just like that so I will leave the mouse and the selection will be submitted just right this way okay now ctrl D D select now I want to move to the other tool over here like for example we mentioned that if we press the right mouse click <coughs> the insider tools will pop up right this way now let's see how can I move to the elliptical one all you need to do is to hold to hold the shift key then press M okay shift M notice that it's changing shift M okay let's use this one as you can see it's an elliptical shape if I want to draw or select this moon in specific I need something circular okay 
Now all you need to do is to hold the shift while selecting for example like that. Now I can take the brush tool and paint over the mood. Okay guys, Control Z, Control Z, Control D. Now these are the properties of the marquee tool. The other two tools are single row marquee tool and single column marquee tool. These two tools select only one pixel at a time. As you can see it's only one pixel. So we don't really need them. Now let's get back to our default tools. So we are almost done with the marquee tool selection. Well, I need to move now to the lasso tool. Now the shortcut of lasso tool is L. Let's go there and press L. And the first one will be chosen. Well, let me say that the first one is a free selection tool. Like for example, I can paint just like the painter software on your laptop or PC. Whenever you leave the mouse, it will select this random area just like that. Okay, I don't really use that one because it's hard to manage. Well, the second one, how can I go there? Shift L and it's called the polygonal lasso tool okay this one depends on points so whenever you click once anywhere you want and click on another point it will draw like almost a line between these two points and just like so Whenever you need to close the selection, there are two methods. The first one is to go back to the starting point and press the left key on the mouse, Ctrl D. The second method is to double click whenever you finish and it will close automatically just right this way. Okay, Ctrl D. Let's do something different. Okay, I'm selecting this area and by mistake i enter the moon how can i undo that well the ctrl z is not working here especially that i don't want to exit the selection i've been working so hard to do this so i just need to undo a couple steps back how can i do that while you are in the lasso tool you can press the backspace on your keyboard Press the backspace once and the last point will disappear. Backspace again, backspace and so on. Now you can select really as you want. Okay, so the third thing about the lasso tool, the polygonal one, is you can draw a straight line and 45 degrees how can I how can you do that well while you are selecting for example I want this line starting from here you can hold the shift and move your mouse up and you will see that there is a line with the 45 degrees is being drawn like this well, so this is the 45 degrees. In addition to 0 degree, 180 degree, 90 degree, and 20, sorry, 270 degrees. So, you can draw horizontal lines and vertical lines, or let me say selections just like this one okay so ctrl d let me just select it okay now this is for the polygonal tool let's move to the other one shift l now this one is the magnetic tool 
as you can see it's the same tool here but with magnet well this tool let me say it's uh, really useless uh, it's really hard to manage as you can see it's selecting its own selection like for example I'm, I'm not pressing even or clicking the mouse it's putting its own points okay and whenever you go out of your selection there will be so many wrong points so let's just escape it and <coughs> rely on the first two only well one more thing about this one polygonal tool is whenever you are zoomed in and selecting things you need to get down there you can do this two ways either you push your workspace using your mouse or you can pan from here if you hold the space it will pan okay and whenever you leave the space it go back automatically to your chosen tool so whenever you hold the space pan leave the space and continue selecting okay now how can I zoom in and out well you can do, do that normally hold the alt and scroll back scroll in and that's it if you want to cancel your selection press escape okay that's all for the lasso tool now let's move to our next tool which is the magic wand the magic wand's shortcut is W. Now let's go there and press the W one. Well, for me guys, I only use the middle one and the last one. Let's see the difference between them. Okay, now talking about the quick selection tool. Whenever you choose it. It's icon it's like a circle and then there is a plus inside of it what does it do well let's try it if I clicked in the black area you'll notice that it's only selection the black pixels okay as you can see it, it did not enter the moon so what does that mean it means that the place where you first click this selection will try to seek the same pixels as the first place as you can see now it's only selecting the black area and did not enter the moon if i just enter the moon in addition to the black pixels it will st start adding the pixels of the moon as shown Okay, now it's Ctrl D, this select. There is another thing about this tool, how do I make it bigger or smaller? Well, you can do that by holding the Alt key and hold the right mouse click. If you slide to the right, it will be bigger. If you slide to the left, it's going to get smaller so that's how we control it okay now let's talk about the other one which is the magic wand how can i choose this one without going to the toolbar, to the toolbar? hold the shift key then press w okay now this tool is literally a magic tool like whenever you click on some color pixel it's going to pick the same pixels sorry it's going to pick the same color from the other pixels now let's try it out as you can see one click on the black area and it has selected everything in black okay now it's the same thing if we click inside the moon let's try here for example as you can see I have clicked here in the gray area and it has selected all the gray areas inside the moon ok 
okay, that's obvious. Now, there is another thing to bear in mind when you use this tool selection. This tool. There is another thing to bear in mind when you use this tool. There is another thing to bear in mind when you use this selection tool is this option right here, which is contiguous. Okay, what does that do? Whenever it's checked, if I clicked, like for example here, okay, let me just do something. If I clicked over here, you'll notice that it has selected only this area. You see? Like we can see that the rest of the move is not selected, even though there are some pixels here are just as simple as the ones here. So what's the problem? What's happening? Well, uh, this one, whenever it's checked, it's going to select only the connected, the directly connected pixels with the same color. Whenever it's unchecked you'll notice that if I clicked here for example it's going to select the whole pixels from the whole moon just by unchecking the contiguous now let's control D is selected let's try another picture Okay, let's unlock this one and let's start now selecting these petals over here. If I clicked, let me check the contiguous. If I clicked over here, you'll notice that the selected area is very small. Now let's uncheck this one. You'll notice that it has become bigger, like in the whole photo. Okay, Ctrl D. Now, as you can see, that this bar over here is connected to the toolbar. Like when, whenever I change the tool, the setting bar change as well. Okay, so every single tool has its own settings in the ribbon. Okay, now let's get back to the magic wand. <coughs> I'm going to click over here in the orange area like what if I want to expand my selection I want more colors over here so what can I do all you have to do is to go to the tolerance over here you will notice that the number on your Photoshop is probably 20 as the same as mine now I can increase it to 50 for example and I will click in the same area as before as you can see that it's now selecting even more colors whenever you increase this number it's going to select more colors now that's everything about selection tools now let's go and do some practical application starting from this image now let's choose um, uh, <clears throat> I want to select for example this background and delete it how can I do that well I have mentioned before that the best tool to select is this one the quick selection tool now I'm going to click over here and drag you see it has selected the blurred area as you can see now let's hit delete and that's it I have deleted the background now I am free to take this photo and put it wherever wherever I want now let's pretend that um, we have to put this flower inside this moon like on the edge of this moon it has to be uh, cut just right on the edges of this moon. Let's do this. 
I can just drag it over here and take it there just as simple as you see let's do it again now I'm selected I have selected the move tool I'm going to click on it and drag to the other window right here now how can I now how can I scale this photo all you have to do is to hold the control then press T okay we will be going through this thing on uh, in details the next lesson now all you have to do only hold the corner and scale it this way I'm going to put this right inside the mode for example okay that's enough whenever you are satisfied you have to click enter press enter and we are done now I want as you can see I want to delete these pixels outside the mode now how can we do this well something to bear in mind is Photoshop does not work um, like for example I want to delete the floor edges now if I'm selecting the moon to the moon layer it's not going to move to remove anything but the moon okay now we have to select the layer we need to work on in order to do the things we want to this layer as you can see now control D so what we have to do over here I'm going to decrease the opacity of this floor okay now <coughs> I'm going to select the moon edges how can I do that I have selected the moon layer I'm going to choose the magic wand and click on the black area okay I can do this using the, sel the quick selection tool as well now I have selected the black area I can go back I can go back to the flower layer let me increase the opacity if I hit on delete it's going to delete only the outside pixels of the floor at the outside of the moon okay now what happened here all that happened that I have used another layer to make a selection then use this selection on another layer okay control D let's do this again I'm going to select the moon layer select the black area or I can select the moon one then go back to that daisy now if I hit delete it's going to delete the pixels I want to stay in the moon now if I hit delete it's going to delete the wanted pixels and I don't want to do that now there is something I need to do which is to invert the selection like I have selected the moon and I don't want the selection I want to select the outside area now all you have to do is to hold the control hold shift and the press I on the keyboard now the selection is inverted okay so let's hit delete right now and control D that's it I can now use some of the blending modes like it's going to give me some beautiful effect this one for example okay the multiply one going to hit enter and that's it now let's take a harder application to do this thing I brought you guys some photos 
from the internet. Now we are going to make a composition for these five photos. Well, let's get started. I'm going to take this one with the cave. I'm going to unlock it. Now, what I want from this picture is only the cave and I have to delete this area over here in the middle. Okay, now I'm going to choose the quick selection tool which is W. I'm going to make it bigger a little bit and select this area over here. And here for example. Okay, cool. Well, there are some areas over here. I'm going to add it to the selection. Oops. So I'm going to subtract this rock over here. I will hold the Alt key, as we mentioned before, and subtract this selection. Okay, that's enough. Now hit delete, and that's it. Now I need a background for this cave. Now let's go and take this one over here, go to Photoshop and put it right here. Now as you can see, this rectangle over here, this blue rectangle, it controls the scale of this picture, okay? So don't do anything, only drag to the corners. And that's it. Now how can I fit this in the background? All you need to do is to take this layer and slide it under the other one. You see? Now we can make the, the layers in order. All you have to do is to slide this layer under the other one and you will see that we can order our layers the way we want okay <clears throat> now to now one thing to bear in mind when you are doing the composition is the light source of each picture you use has to be the same in the whole picture now as you can see the light source in the background is coming from the right about the cave it's coming from the left because we can see that this lightened area over here so that means that the light is coming just right from the left now how can I invert one of them I'm going to invert actually the the background one now let's go again to the control shift T sorry control T I'm going to select this layer and control T okay now all you have to do is right click inside this rectangle then flip horizontal flip horizontal and it's going to mirror this background now i don't need this man over here so i'm just going to hide it like that okay hit enter and that's it now here are our first two photos whenever you insert images or pictures or anything to photoshop directly rename it like this one is the cave and this one double click on the name let's say bg like background <coughs> now let's take another picture over here i'm going to take this kid actually this kid is quite hard to 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 um, to crop okay so anyway I'm going to put it right over there and name it kid for example so good the best selection tool for the thousand time is the quick selection one let's hit W and I'm going to select this kid actually I'm go not going to be precise so I'm just going to select it drag as easy as possible I can add selection whenever I want now this area I'm going to 
subtract the selection of the alt and subtract it. Talking about selection, there is a thing that you need to know that selection tools are related to each other like if I use um, for now the quick selection tool can I use also the lasso tool yes you can because the selection does not disappear until you press the ctrl D okay now I have selected this kid using the quick selection tool I can go to the lasso tool pressing L for example and starting to subtract using the lasso tool like for example alt and then I can do this as you can see okay so I have selected this kid and I want to delete its background what can I do all I have to do is to invert the selection then press delete you'll notice that it did not allow me to delete this background why so because the layer over here as you can see there is a little icon in the corner of it that means that this layer is a smart object and whenever you see a smart object it means that you cannot delete anything from this layer until you break this icon how can how can we do this all you have to do is to right click on this layer and choose rasterize layer okay now you can see that this icon has gone now we can press delete and boom that's it ctrl d let's size this kit ctrl t for example and let me make him standing on this rock that's it now let's check the light source okay it's coming from the left that's amazing now let's get another one like this one for example i'm going to take it to photoshop make it a little bit, bit bigger okay now as you can see it's also a smart object right click then rasterize layer let's rename it Bob, for example okay that's great now let's select this one using the marquee tool as you remember I'm going to use the elliptical one I'm going to click and drag also hold the shift in order to get this circle selection great ctrl shift I to invert the selection and delete ctrl D let's take this one and place it right here okay awesome the light source coming from the left that's amazing now the very last thing is this plane I'm going to take this one to here for example I'm going to make it bigger bigger great it's also a smart object so rasterize now I need to remove this white um, uh, this white background how can I do this in one click okay let's take the magic wand and uncheck the contiguous then press on the white area over here all you have to do is to press delete that's it ctrl D ctrl T now to scale it press on the corner and scale it like this for example and hit enter and that's it everyone I don't need any color correction or any dropping shadows all I need is to composite um, some few pictures into one and get a final result just as pure as that okay never mind the colors only mind the selection now I'm going to leave this work file in the description in the description down below so you can work on the same picture and share us all your results that's it for today everyone hope you enjoyed and hope you find it useful 
let me know down below in the comments if there is any note you need to mention in my lesson see you next time